Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 17 If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is sacred and you together are that temple. New Living Translation God will destroy anyone who destroys his temple. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. English Standard Version If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. The question is, just how much do you believe that you are the temple of God? A lot of people say this all the time. Even non-believers still believe that their body is a temple, which I find um, encouraging because once you understand that your body is a temple, your body isn't just a physical body. It's it's got it's very your body houses. Um, well, it houses you to start with, but it also houses the Holy Spirit. Your body is your uniform right while you're here on earth is the reason you function here on earth this is what differentiates us from other entities um even angels aren't legal on this earth um even um demonic entities are not legal on this earth the only way they become legal is if they come in agreement with someone angels come in agreement well you come in agreement with God and you pray to God and he sends his ministering spirits. Angels are ministering spirits. Then they come and, and give you what they've been sent to give you or they come and give you the message they've been sent to give you and so on and so forth. That's the same with demonic entities. Um, you can come in agreement with them without even realizing, uh, for example, by, by possessing something that belongs to them, something that is accursed, right? Something that belongs to the kingdom of darkness or by engaging in activities that are occultic. Uh, in other words, in activities that evoke evil spirits. But either way, when you come in in agreement with evil spirits, they then have the legal right to come and function here on this earth, same as God, same as the, uh, the his angels. And that's why God wants us to pray. When we pray, we give him permission to come and act on our behalf and to come and make changes in our lives, right? But what we need to understand is your body, this physical body that you have, it is the temple of God, okay? And that's the first, first and foremost intention. Whether or not you choose to follow that, you may choose to instead let it be the temple of demonic entities. And yes, there are people who are literally walking altars. They carry demonic spirits on them. Um, it, it's a thing. It's real. In as much as someone can carry the presence of God and, and, and carry healing, you know, there are people who, who have the ability to heal and so on and so forth and the ability to work all sorts of miracles. And that is God working through them. And there's, it's not because there's special people who do that. No, we can all do that. We're all capable of that. It just depends on how much you focus on God, how much you read his word, how much you pray, how much you fast and so on and so forth. The more of God you allow in you by engaging in those activities, um, the more you can see the manifestation of God's power through you. I know this to be F, an absolute truth because I repented um, of iniquities of my forefathers and bloodlines of, and my very own and generational cases have been taken off me. And I can see a different version of myself at work now compared to the version of myself before then. So these things are real, guys. But here's the thing. Your body is the temple and God's temple and God will not tolerate anyone destroying his temple. Now, most of the time when we think of this scripture, we're thinking of sins that we confess, com sorry, commit ourselves. Yes, that's part of it. And that's why you need to be constantly repenting. Um, the, the sexual sins are no doubt a destruction of the temple of God, right? You can't use the temple of God to commit sexual sin because that's completely violating um, the temple of God. That's defiling the temple of God, right? Um, but also let's think about let's think beyond our very selves every time an evil spirit comes on you and and it comes on you or comes near you or comes to do anything on you they are defiling god's temple it's that simple i've just gone straight into it i was going to try and break it down and explain what's happening but i don't want to waste anybody's time let me just be let me just be straightforward with this right any time an evil spirit comes on you every time you have a spirit of sickness every time you have a, whatever spirit is on you it could be a spirit of depression it could be a spirit of um uh, anxiety whatever spirit is on you first off you have to believe that life is spiritual if you don't believe that life is spiritual it becomes hard for this scripture to work for you 
right? Once you understand that life is spiritual, then you understand that God created you a certain way. Remember that scripture that says, you have not given us the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind, right? Uh, it's the same. God has not given you any spirit of uh, uh, depression. God has not given you a spirit of anxiety. God has not given you a spirit of uh, poverty. God has not given you a spirit. However long these spirits have been on you for, they didn't come from God. Once you understand that, you then focus on those spirits and you say, it is written, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. Father, you said, I am your temple. And that if I, if anyone destroys your temple, you will destroy them. I'm asking you to destroy every evil spirit that is on me right now. If you, uh, please just experiment with this. Uh, try speaking this scripture over yourself, over your body every single day. Try it for a week. Try it for two weeks. Try it the whole month. Let that be your daily scripture that you confess every day. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. Therefore, I decree and declare every evil spirit that is on me, that is following me, that is even so much as touching me with this little finger in the spirit realm or in the physical realm. May God destroy you. May God torment you before your time. Just watch what will happen. I would love to hear back from anybody who's tried this. Give it time. Don't just try it for one day. Try it literally for a week or for a month. And I, I, I look forward to hearing your testimony. I use it even in situations where I, when I feel a headache coming on, I literally just touch my head and said, Father, it is written if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. It's literally like you're talking to someone and you're telling them, imagine if an intruder, a, v, a physical person came and started unlocking your door. They are fiddling, they are, they are, they are defiling. Why is, why is anyone trying to, why is a stranger trying to unlock your door? Why are they trying to break your door open? That, 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 that's, they're destroying your property. They're defiling your property. You wouldn't stand for it, would you? If that happened, you'd call the police straight away and, and if possible, take a photo or a video. If you have CCTV, take a recording of that person so the police can identify that person. They'll go after them. It's illegal. So it's also illegal for evil entities, for demonic entities to come on your body. Let's be careful with this one, though. If you are, you know, living in unrepentant sin, unfortunately, it's not illegal. It is legal. They have legal right over your body. But this is why you need to be constantly repenting. Father, I repent of every sin. Some sins you may know. Father, I repent for gossiping and slandering other people. I repent for being resentful of my workmates. I repent for being resentful of my colleagues. I repent for being resentful of my uh, friends, of my relatives or whoever. Whatever situation you've been in that can cause you to be resentful and angry. Just repent over it and let it go. Be Let repenting, you, you should repent as much as you... Right, you brush your teeth every day, right? You you clean your body every day. Repenting is like cleaning your body. God said if anyone sorry, if we repent our sins, if we confess our sins, he is he is um faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So repenting leads to cleansing, right? So literally, in as much as you clean yourself every day, you've got to be repenting every day because that leads to your cleansing spiritually, you're cleansing yourself every day. Then when you know you're repenting, then there's no spirit that that is any legal right over you. Meaning whatever spirit is trying to come on you, that headache trying to come on you, if any, just touch your head and say, it is written, if anyone defiles God's temple, God will destroy that person. You get to a point where you say that scripture, you say that word, this, this word with anger. It's like someone trying to hold you or, tr or trying to pull you and drag you around without your permission. You would tell them and say, if you even so much as touch me again, I am calling the police on you. It's the same here. Call God on these evil spirits. Don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed by any spirit that is on you in any way, shape, or form that is causing you not to function in the way you, you're supposed to function because that's the point, guys. If God has said that you are going to be a healer on this earth and for some reason you're not being a healer, something is stopping you from being a healer. If God has said you're going to be something or you're going to wear function in a certain way um, and, and you're not able to function in that way, there's a spirit that is stopping you and hindering you from performing what you're meant to do. Imagine if a uh, if you have a lawnmower and the lawnmower isn't working right. You just bought it, but something isn't working right. You wouldn't be pleased about that. You wouldn't be happy with that. So don't be content with not functioning in the way you are not meant to function. 
okay don't be content with any 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 pain in your body you have to speak touch that area in your body and say if anyone defiles god's temple god will destroy that person whoever you are on my leg right now god destroy you god torment you before your time and you have to say that with determination you don't have to shout you don't have to scream but you say it like you mean it because there's there shouldn't be any spirit on you this spirit of poverty that is on you or that keeps pursuing you you need to turn around instead of running from it and being frightened by it just turn around and say to it god destroy you for defiling his temple you don't belong with me you don't belong anywhere near me god destroy you god torment you before your time for defiling his temple the script speak the scriptures guys but i think it's more exciting when you even speak it over a physical pain because I've, I've i do this all the time every time i feel any form of pain come over me it is written if anyone defiles god's temple god will destroy that person whoever you are right now on my stomach god destroy you you have no place in my stomach may god destroy you may god torment you may god torment you before your time for trespassing his property in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.